Hey folks, welcome to another VR video. Today we're back in the Quest version of Zenith The Last City because they've added a bunch of new content. The Celestial Throne update recently released and the sun's starting to set. Uh, with this release, there's a ton of cool new stuff. Hey, you, over here. Including this bespectacled guy, Finch, who's been around giving us some new quests. Good to see you, like the Forsaken Reliquary, Ancient Influence. So it says, go agent, now in spite of what you may have heard, one does not simply walk into the Forsaken Reliquary. Seriously, there's a portal. As an apprentice, I've learned a few things about essence, the world and its people. Now is the time for you to take that knowledge, an artifact tool I have been able to craft, and enter the Forsaken Reliquary in its current state. Using this tool I call a Spectrum Analyzer, we will be able to monitor and then copy the frequency of the ancient essence. Once we have that frequency, my hope is that you will be able to attune to it safely, or at least as safely as you can do anything out here in these cultist infested, essence corrupted, everything's trying to kill you mountains. So we're gonna go ahead and accept this. You will? And we've received this tool from Vench here. Goodbye, my bespectacled friend. And we're actually gonna go over here Climb up the side here. Over by friend, who I don't think has any quests. Let's let's just check to make sure. Yeah, no quests. Thank you, friend. And this is the entrance as soon as we get this chest, because why not? This is the entrance to the Corrupted Reliquary. And this is one of the first of several new dungeons added to the game. As the easiest one that I'm aware of, at least. So that's why we're going to do this. This is going to unlock the ability to play more dungeons, which will show in kind of a menu system after we finish. So the first time I played through this game, I didn't have the ability to go through dungeons or see all these characters or, or do anything um, of the nature. We've got a cultist over here. He was an ardent. I say was because he is no more. He gave us his totem. Try to remember not to pick up any godstones. And we have another ardent, I think, over here. Yep. So these are fairly easy enemies for me to defeat at the current time because I'm level 40 and they're all level 20. But imagine going through this at level 20. And you can see this is not, it's quite a challenge, I'm sure. So we're gonna pick up this uh, tier zero device and uh, hopefully put it in the right place here. How do I? Is this, is that right? How do I place it? Is that, does it go there? Hmm. There it goes. So I believe now I need to go find three orbs to charge it. And you just collect those by drops from these guys. As you can see, I've already sort of collected one. We'll sort of collect a second in a moment. 
Arden and its uh, shield here. Another cultist totem. And you know what? We're just gonna. Kill that one. Take these two over at once and go grab the other one. Well, I guess I have to put them away first. Okay, that's totally fine. Now we've got the three orbs. I was hoping I didn't have to take them out and I could just drag them over. There's one installed. Uh, whoops. Second installed, and where'd the other one go? Hopefully it's still in my inventory. Yeah, there it is. And the third installed. And now we've got our item back. Oh. Can't pick that back up again. May have found a slight bug, but that's okay. So I believe we want to go this way, but let's uh, check on our map. Yeah, we're going this way. I feel like I could just fly through here. Let's see. Oh, I did attract one of their attention. Multiple of their attention. Get some space between us. We'll kill these guys. Man, they throw some stones. I love being able to kind of just soar around and do stuff. really one of my favorite things about this game. Anything cool here? Some windsong gloves are outdated. Windsong instruments are outdated for me. Some lower level weapons uh, that obviously nowadays I'm a little too advanced for. Gargoyle. So I believe we want to go this way. But now I don't I'm not sure. Let's take a look. Yeah, straight ahead. I feel like I want to go this way actually. That's some answer over here. <laughs> that 
she's got a gale storm. So let's look here. It is still up ahead. Oh, there it goes. Okay. There's that. I need to kill three of these guys, I'm assuming. one. Cilantro noodles. Those are always tasty. Two. I'm actually going to go up because I saw these two characters up here. our last these charging orbs go back downstairs and finally and then scout the titan's lair which is up above, it looks like. So we'll climb here. Guess we're going to go after that Esomancer next. on the gargoyle. I actually kind of like these gargoyles. They're kind of cool. Now obviously I don't need a wind caller's instrument. But as you can see, we're going to do some scouting here. And now I'm assuming the big guy in the middle, yes. Yeah. Slay the stone titan. Doesn't feel like I've drank. There we go. There we go. did it. 
That was a crazy boss battle if I ever saw one. So now we need to go over here. We've got this crystal now. And we take a little totem thing. Uh, what else do we have to do? Anything else? Set the analyzer atop the altar. We've done that. Okay. And then we take the crystal and put it on top of the analyzer. And we stand here. And we wait. I'm assuming. Cool. And now we've received one item. What's it say to do next? Return to Finch with the artifact. All right, that wasn't so bad. So now we will go back to Finch. Now, we need to put the artifact right there. So we'll take that out of our inventory. It's going to be in our quest inventory right here. Hey, you, over here. Now we go to quest. Glad to have you here. And so, so you want to seek that treasure. Okay, I'll do what I can to help you out. Thanks to Elder Prince training, I have a pretty good idea of what we can do to get you attuned. Congrats, Agent. You are now attuned to your own death. I mean to enter one of the most dangerous areas I've ever read about, the Reliquary. Hope you have some friends, Eric. You'll need them. So now him. we have unlocked the Forsaken Reliquary rank one. We hit OK here. We got a face mask, essentially. Um, but what we did definitely get, if we click on this little shield here, is this first dungeon path. So you've got one star here. You can unlock up to three stars per dungeon. There are multiple dungeons. There's roulettes. You can do a leveling roulette which allows you to do a rank one dungeon selected at random from those that have been unlocked. Right now, I've only unlocked that single random or single dungeon. Uh, a raid roulette, which is a rank one or two selected at random from those that have been unlocked. Or an expert roulette, which is rank two and above will be selected at random. So these are based on the dungeons you've unlocked. Raids allow you to do party raids, again, through unlocked dungeons as well. So lots and lots of stuff to do. Resurrections remaining, interesting. So if we wanted to do this dungeon right here, we could join uh, zero out of 10 completions to unlock rank two. So we have to finish this dungeon with one star 10 times to unlock rank two. Lots and lots and lots of depth now added to the game. I hope you've enjoyed this video, this look at the first dungeon, at least the one that I found was the most easy in the Celestial Throne update as part of Zenith The Last City. I'll be back with more content soon. Until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourselves. I'm going to walk over here to this beautiful fox statue. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.